All right, we're doing a quick video. Uh, recently, I've been working on this quite a bit. As you can see, got the laptop up. Uh, I need to jump into Power Commander, make some changes and adjustments, but before I do all that, I'm going to do an idle relearn. Uh, this is something that um, uh, if you have a KTM, you're probably gonna be familiar with, and actually, a lot of cars in general as well uh, can do idle relearns, and pretty much is going to um, go through and kind of measures the parameters of, you know, um, the air that's coming in, especially if you have a like map sensor or even a map sensor based, right? Cause map sensor uses a heated wire and measures resistance against it as air passes through, right? Um, and anytime you make any adjustments when it comes to airflow, those are some of the things that you should be looking at. So in my particular case, uh, as I was working on this thing, I went ahead and looked at my manual chain timing chain adjuster and uh, I wanted to go ahead and just take a look at it. It's been a while, make some adjustments. When I made these adjustments, it was enough to cause it to run a lot leaner. Uh, I'll show you here in a little bit. I'll go ahead and start it up, rev it a little bit and you can see on my air fuel ratio gauge, um, it like struggling and, and going lean as well as the bike just stumbling on its face because uh, it just doesn't have enough fuel to properly um, uh, rev smoothly, at least when you crack open the throttle real hard. If you roll into it, it's not a problem. But let me go ahead and open the garage. I'll show you that, and then we'll get into the idle relearn process. Okay, so bike on. So that's what I'm talking about. You can see it's running super lean. Uh, let me go ahead. Sorry, that was probably a weird transition. All right, so I want to go ahead and close my garage. That way I can actually talk and not have to worry about all kinds of random noises outside. So yeah, as you can see, we're running super lean. You can see it on the gauge. There's a hesitation, right? I don't want to row this thing to the moon because obviously, you know, you got neighbors and stuff like that and I'm sure they don't want to hear it. But um, that's just a perfect example of why this is important as well as what I'm gonna do with the tuning. So before I make the adjustments with Power Commander, I wanna see what the uh, idle relearn does first. Honestly, I should probably do that idle relearn first anyways, and then we'll go into the tuning part for it. So this part's relatively easy. Um, let me go ahead and move this. So what you're going to do is, normally you would undo your battery uh, in order to actually facilitate that. But in our particular case, I don't want to take all this crap off. So there's an easier way to do it. If you look on here, there's a couple of fuses, right? Let's see if I can get this zoomed in real fast. So we have main fuse and main relay for ECU. That's at 15 amp one. And main ECU 10 amp, right? So those are the three fuses that I'm going to go ahead and pull. Uh, you might want to use some needle nose pliers. I like to use these. They're really hard to get to because they're freaking tiny fuses. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I guess I'll see if I can might be able to prop this up. Don't really know. If not, hey, I'm sorry. Um, you'll just have to bear with me, I suppose, if that's the case. Come on. All right, well. Looks like you're just gonna have to wait. I'll uh, put you on pause and then we'll figure it out. Come back in a second. Okay, so it's important to note that when you pull these out, keep them in the right order. These are different rated fuses, right? And obviously you can just look at this if you get lost. So, uh, fuses are out. I like to pull it out for at least one to two minutes something like that. That way it gives it time to kind of drain any, you know, excess power and stuff like that to the ECU. So 
Uh, we're pretty much there now, so I'm going to go ahead and just insert these back in. And one, two, and three. Okay, now I'm going to have to shove this back in. This is my spade connector for my power commander. So I'm actually going to just leave that there for now. I'll leave this off and I'll come back to it a little bit later. So the rest of the procedure. So what you need to do, reconnect everything, right? Move this out the way and move my computer. It's best to do when the bike's warmed up. So I would recommend you do that. What you're going to do is you're going to turn your bike on, start it, let it run for 15 minutes, no more than 16 minutes, okay? Don't touch the throttle, nothing. Let it idle, let it do its thing. When you're done, let's say you're at 15 and a half minutes, come over, turn the bike off, don't touch anything. Then you can turn the key back on, start it, and then see how it does, right? A lot of idle problems, a lot of problems with, uh, uh, especially if they're doing somewhat beginner mods when it comes to um, airbox related stuff. Uh, a lot of that can somewhat be mitigated doing idle relearn. Now, depending on if you do too much, then you may need to throw more fuel at it. So uh, let's go ahead and start this up and I'll open the garage and we'll be back in 15 minutes. So. Almost at the end, AFRs are way better and it's running way smoother, so happy about that. Almost done, uh, once it finishes up, we'll, uh, I'll jump back on here. Okay. Now, let's try again. That sounded rough.
I think that smoothed it out. So, uh, as you can see, a little bit of more tuning done on my part, at least that was needed. I think a lot of that just because comes from the fact that <coughs> spike's a little bit different compared to a lot of the stock ones. So, uh, it being not stock, sometimes idle relearn does help, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, in my particular case, it did smooth it out a little bit, but it definitely needed more fuel on the bottom end. So, But for pretty much most everybody else, that's, that's the basic procedure. So, for if you're at home and you're run into a little bit of issues that might be able to help get you to where you need to be. So that being said, uh, that's it for now. I'm going to go put some more miles on this thing, see if I can get the tune smoothed out a little bit more. Cause I think it's just a little bit of tuning that needs to go on. And then after that it should be good. So, uh, that's all I got for now. If you got any questions, uh, just drop me a line.